can feel the energy, girls. Give me some. Yes, I can feel you. I can feel you. The Honorable Minister of ICT, Postal and Career Services, Dr. Jane Swere. Representatives of the Minister's offices, Permanent Secretary's offices here present. Representatives from the Minister of Midlands State Office. Director General Dr. G.K. Machengete. Other CEOs and directors here present. Provincial Education Director for Midlands, Mr. James Machambira. Directors from the Ministry of Education offices. Heads of schools, teachers, the junior parliament members, the junior council members here present, the head girls and head boys, and most importantly, the girls in ICT. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If I say girls in ICT, you say access and safety, right? Girls in ICT, access and safety. Girls in ICT, access and safety. Access and safety. Girls in ICT. Well done. That's the energy. That's the energy for today as we celebrate you girls. So my name is Thelo Dube, popularly known as the STEM lady. I'm sure some of you guys know me already, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I know some of you guys know me. I've come to your school to witness you doing work in your clubs, the STEM Fem Network Club, which brings together girls who are interested in STEM education. Innovators here present. I've witnessed some of your innovations in your different schools, and I'm so happy to be here today. So when you look at me, some might be thinking, ooh, wow, 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 halala. But one day, I was in that uniform that way, and I saw girls from Anderson also here. Girls from Anderson, are you here? Yes. I was also once in a uniform also like that, like you guys. I did not come from a wealthy family. I was an orphan at a young age, and I think people sponsor my education. Why did they sponsor my education? Because I had a positive attitude. Because I was a hard-working girl. I want you to get one thing from today. And if you don't get anything else, get that you are everything that you need to be. You can achieve anything that you want to achieve. Today I stand as the Zimbabwe Science Ambassador and as the STEM lady because I want to inspire you girls to show you that you can do sciences, you can do technology careers, you can do engineering, you can rock that mess. You can, girls. I have done it, so can you. Right? We celebrate today, and our theme is access and safety. But what disappoints me the most is that as we get more access, actually, Global statistics show that we have more access to information technology, even more than we have access to clean water. So this shows that we all have access to technology. You've got a phone. If you don't have a phone, you've got your mother's phone, you've got your sister's phone. You've got access. Access has not become the problem anymore. The problem is safety. Because with more access, there is more damage in terms of safety because girls, we are not using the internet for what it's supposed to be used for. Statistics show that during the pandemic, with the more data that your mother bought for you, you went online and you went to all the wrong sites which had nothing to do with research. Am I right? No. <laughs> yes and no. That's a balance. So at least we have some who used it properly and we have some who didn't. For those who did not use it properly, today you're stopping that, right? We're going to use this access to research, right? So let's see, how many people can give me 10 careers in ICT? 10 in a row. Okay, there's a lady there. Come run fast, fast, come. 10 careers in ICT in a row. And remember, in ICT. 
um, data analyst, systems and administrator, software engineer, um, network administrator. Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, a lab technician. Uh uh. Okay, mm -hmm. science. Okay, maybe computer yes. lab technician. Yes, okay. Computer lab technician. Uh -huh. Um. Let's see, let's Okay, a round of applause. For So you can list some as I go on, guys, but what am I trying to show you? Your access should be for research, should be for you guys to get to know about um, career options, should be for you guys to get to know more about what you can do in ICT, right? So going forward, let's do that. I will list them, and I've got a list with over 100. I was actually screaming, and I'll share that with you guys if you're interested. So I, I just wanted to get up to 10. Data scientist, data analyst, IT analyst, front and end back developer, computer programmer, information security analyst, systems analyst, and AI. AI is big, right, guys? Cloud architect, cloud consulting, and those who think they want to be engineers, consider engineering careers. In ICT, you can be a cloud system engineer, you can be a network engineer, you can be an applications engineer. The ladies who want certain things like marketing, you can be an IT support manager, IT manager. Those who want to be lawyers because they want to be associates and partners, you can also be an associate and partner in AI. AI associate, AI associate developer, architect, hmm? systems architect. Those who want to do quality control, because us girls be good with quality, right? So you can be also a what? A software quality assurance and ensure that all these ICT platforms and the safety in this space. <coughs> Did you write those down? There is so much we can do, girls. Let's use the internet for all the right reasons. Let's research. Let's want to stay in the field of ICT. Okay, so you want to know more on those career options? We'll share them. Now let's move on to mentorship. How many have mentors? How many have mentors? Hands up. Okay, so we're not seeing enough hands. Over there, how many have mentors? Do you know what a mentor is? No. Oh. Girls, girls. Okay, so teachers here with us, there's a lot of work to be done. Okay, so, a mentor. I have a mentor also, and I also have mentees. So, if you are being mentored, you're called a mentee. If you are mentoring something, you are the mentor, right? So, a mentor is someone who has some skills that are desirable to you. So, for example, if someone says, oh, I want to be a STEM lady like you, so... You look at what I've done. I'm a biochemistry holder. I'm a biotechnology holder. I'm a science entrepreneur. I have companies that do science and technology stuff, right? So you read my portfolio, my profile, or you call it my bio, or my CV, and you like the work that I'm doing. And I inspire you enough for you to want to be like me. Then you approach me and say, please mentor me so that I walk this journey with you to get to where you work. That's a mentor, right? So, does anyone have a mentor? Do you know any women in ICT that you look up to and they can be your mentor? You do, someone? you want to be a computer science teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, clap hands for her. 
Okay. So, what is clear is that there is a gap, right? And I also want to commend Portrait because you've been so, so good and steadfast when it comes to girls in ICT. This year, those who follow Portra's page for girls in ICT were showcasing women who are doing great in ICT. These women are our mentors. So Portra, I'm challenging you further. Let's have this database accessible in all libraries in schools, right? Here with us, we've got some examples of great women in ICT. We have engineer, um, we have engineer Patricia Mangero from, um, from net one, are you here, engineer? Guys, can you see engineer? One of the few women engineers in the telecom industry. We have engineer, Mavis Maunga is there, from Portras. Mavis, are you here? She's there somewhere, there guys. Can you see these women? During tea break and lunch time, look for them. These are examples of women who are doing great in the ICT field. We also have the likes of Mama Chipo Mutasa, who's not here, but leading a telecom company. What am I saying? Girls in ICT, you need to want to aspire to be giants in ICT. This is the only way we can be assured of a bright future as Zimbabwe. Do you hear me, girls? Because yes. when girls are leading, everyone is taken care of. If girls are leading, even statistics from the Boston University show that leadership where there is gender diversity is equal to productivity. So if us girls in ICT want to take a back seat, and we say the future is, is centered on ICT, we say the future currency is data, where are the girls? We need girls in ICT to take up leadership position, to want to stay in the field. As the Zimbabwe Science Ambassadors, one of my goals is to ensure that we sustain your interest in science, technology, engineering, and math. What do I mean? When you're growing up, when you're in preschool, and you say, what do you want to do when you grow up? You want to be a daughter, right? <laughs> When you're in primary school and you now know math is hard, what do you want to do when you grow up? You change, maybe you now want to be a teacher, right? When we get to high school, what do you want to do when you grow up? Um, I want to study marketing, okay? Marketing, okay, in general. As you get to university, if you take up medicine, even in the first year or two, half the girls drop, drop out, and they go to business studies. ICT, take, you know, take subjects. Girls also drop out. It gets too hard for them. We don't want that. So we want to sustain your interest. That innocence you have when you're a baby and you want to rule the world and fly the aeroplane, we want you to keep that. Girls, what the boys can do, the girls can do better. <laughs> no, this is lovely. And that is what we want. That is what we want. So the more we put gen we push and um, push harder for gender equality in ICT, we'll see that even as technologies are emerging, they have a woman touch. Right? We'll see that even as things are coming up, someone is considering that a woman needs to be part of this technology. Is that clear, guys? So if we don't take the front seat and if we don't come to the dance, um, they will leave us behind. They will leave us behind. I want you girls in ICT to lead. The future is centered on ICT, and we want you girls at the forefront. What the boys can do, the girls can do better. And I'll leave with you a verse, Isaiah 60, verse 1. Girls in ICT, arise and shine. The light has come, and now is your time. Thank you. Hello, Mami Vana.
ladies and gentlemen. I am very excited about the theme of this year's Girls in ICT Day Commemorations. That is access and safety, ensuring every girl is safe and meaningful access to digital technology and ICTs. This is because as the regulator of the sector, issues of access and online safety are central to our work. Portras has embarked on a number of initiatives aimed at enhancing ICT access to all, especially those in rural and marginalized areas, and especially to women and girls who have been left behind in the social arena. We believe in inclusivity and in leaving no one behind, which is why we have been rolling out community information centers throughout the country, connecting schools, connecting healthy institutions, connecting government departments, connecting police stations, and also providing these with ICT guidance among other projects. While our efforts are all inclusive, statistics released by UN Women, however, shows the women and girls use the internet 12.5% less than men and boys, with some 46% of boys accessing internet on their phones compared to 27% of girls. Another study by UN Women and the ITU shows that girls access digital technology at a later age than boys, and that their use of this technology is more often curtailed by their parents and guardians. Statistics on community information centers usage here in Zimbabwe, provided by Zimpost on a weekly basis, also show that patronage of community information centers is consistently dominated by males at an average of 70% compared to a mere 30% attendance by females. Programs such as the Girls in ICT Day go a long way in encouraging girls and young women to access and use ICTs which are now available to them as equally as they are available to their male counterparts. Such initiatives also go a long way in encouraging girls and young women to take up studies and careers in ICTs so that they meaningfully contribute to the digital economy and are not left behind in the digital revolution. In this regard, I am happy and proud to announce that Portas will be giving full scholarships to four young women from underprivileged backgrounds to study science subjects at university level. The beneficiaries will be selected in consultation with tertiary institutions who have been asked to identify bright and deserving students to benefit. Moving on to the issue of online safety, research has shown that girls and young women are disproportionately exposed to online and ICT facilitated violence and harassment, which can negatively impact their physical, mental, and emotional well-being, and influence how they are changed and use digital tools for 
the rest of their lives. More girls than boys have been victims of online gender-based violence, be it cyberbullying, be it revenge pornography, be it cyber stalking and cyber booming, among other things. This has resulted in mostly girls and young women committing suicide or developing mental health problems due to online emotional and sexual abuse. We continue to roll out a number of consumer education awareness programs around online safety and responsible use of the internet. And we also commend efforts by other stakeholders, such as the civil society, government, and private sector in this regard. A lot more, however, needs to be done, which is why we call on more collaborative efforts by all stakeholders around the issue of child online protection. As I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say that while we advocate for the upliftment, upliftment and emancipation of women and girls, let us not forget the boy child. The boy child too is failing to access ICTs. The boy child too is a victim of online abuse. Let us therefore be wary of neglecting the boy child so much so that we would end up having a problem in the next few years when the boy child is so far left behind and the girl child is so far ahead. What we need to strive for is equality and equity between the sexes in terms of ICT access and use. No gender should be left behind. I certainly hope this can be taken seriously because globally, boys are more likely to drop out of school. They are more likely to abuse drugs, and I'm talking of global studies. They are more likely in some countries to be imprisoned. In fact, they are 20 times more likely to be imprisoned than girls. The boy child should not be looked upon as an impediment to girls' success. He should not be looked upon as an enemy to progress and should not be thrown into a wilderness of identity. Empowering one gender must not be synonymous with stifling the other. We need a functional man and woman for a functional society. I thank you. I would like to take this opportunity to call upon um, representing the guest of honor and introducing the guest of honor, uh, the pair Permanent Secretary as representative in the Minister of ICT, Post and Courier Service, uh, Mrs. Chimonzo, to come and introduce our guest of honor this morning. A big round of applause. The guest of honor today is the Minister of ICT, Post and Courier Services in Zimbabwe. He is the chairman of the African Union Specialized Agency that is called PAPU for short, but in full, Pan-African Postal Union, a position which he will hold for four years. He is the member of parliament for Makoni West under ZANU-PF. He is the Secretary for ZANU-PF in Science and Technology, Manikaland Province. He is a professional member of the Computer Society of Zimbabwe. He holds various qualifications, but I will simply mention a few of them. 
he holds an MBA and he also holds a doctoral degree in business management and leadership. I'm sure for the girl students here, you will realize that once you have a doctoral degree, you are then a doctor. And I'm hoping that you are all aiming to achieve that qualification. He is also awaiting results for a second doctoral degree from last. Which means after the second doctoral degree, he will be a holder of to PhD. Girls, I think we need to give a bum bum for this. Thank you very much. It is not common to see this happening, that after one PhD, another one, and so on. Thank you very much. The second uh, doctoral degree from uh, NAST is uh, on development studies in ICT. So as you can see, he is an ICT guru. He has also been appointed as acting minister in a number of portfolios. Uh, those of us, us who watch TV, I'm sure you have seen him, as acting minister of energy and power development. His latest appointment, apart from being the minister of ICT, Postal and Courier Services, was in the Ministry of Information, uh, Publicity and Broadcasting Services, where he was uh, the acting minister. Our guest of honor is none other than Dr. Jenfan Muswere, Honorable Minister Sen. The Minister of State for Middle East Province, represented by Ms. Machako, the acting permanent secretary, Mahesh Gonzo, senior government officials here present, directors and deputy directors, the director general from Portras, Dr. G.K. Machengeti, the directors from the Ministry of Education, primary and secondary education, our esteemed members of the security forces, members of the JOC, uh, directors, chief executive officers from state-owned enterprises and the private sector, and uh, members, senior executives from Portras, various experts, we have come to support the girl in ICT concept. The girls here present who are here to attend, to commemorate and celebrate the girls in ICT. It gives me great pleasure that I've been invited as we celebrate the girl in ICT, which is part of the empowerment drive by the government of Zimbabwe to ensure that we leave no one and no place behind, as we ensure that we will connect the unconnected, including the girl child. Our coming here today to this prestigious event is to cement and underline the importance of the girl child as we journey to our vision 2030. We all know in terms of research and in terms of the empirical evidence that has been produced, that if we support the girl child, if we empower the girl child, if we allow the girl child to participate in various social, political, and economic issues, we will have an empowered, digitally connected 2030. We have a sustainable, successful, development of this country. So the importance of girls in the information communication technology arena is very vital as we journey towards a digitally connected society. It is important 
Because in the 14th industrial revolution, we need to invest in infrastructure. We need girls to participate in research. We need girls to bridge the gender digital divide. We need to have girls participating in the development of hardware and software, the manufacturing of gadgets, as we journey towards Vision 2030. The entire future rests on ICT development. This is the game changer that is going to transform the entire globe, be it in agriculture, be it in uh, the planning of cities, be it in the education arena, be it in manufacturing, in mining, the entire future rests on information communication technology. COVID-19, the pandemic was a disaster, but it also taught us that the future of the entire communication, be it e-commerce, be it media, be it education, is being transformed by the utilization of data. We all know that data is now the new world, the most traded commodity or service across the globe. So I want to encourage all girls to participate in the information communication technology sector. We have a lot of examples, successful people who have participated in this sector, be it the private sector, uh, from EcoCash, be it from Econet, be it from NetOne, with various positions uh, that are occupied by women. Be it from Portras, and our current uh, permanent secretary, Dr. Bula Chirume is a woman. So there are so many opportunities in hardware development, so many opportunities in software development. And we all know that the moment you invest in empower women, the moment you invest in empower girls, there is more likely to be a replication in terms of the growth of the gross domestic product. Girls and women are most likely to continue staying living in their country of birth. And this they translate to an empowered a society by the year 2030. The more we focus on women, the more we focus on girls in terms of ensuring that you participate in the fourth industrial revolution, the more we are guaranteed of success in terms of the implementation of the Smart Zimbabwe Master Plan. So the government of Zimbabwe has crafted a number of policies and programs to empower the girl child so that we bridge that gender divide. One of the programs is a review of the ICT policy with a lot of bias on ensuring that uh, we empower the girl child. The Smart Zimbabwe Master Plan is now being implemented with the Smart Health, with the Smart Education, the Smart Agriculture, with various other smart pillars as we journey to ensure that we have a smart nation, a smart government, which will then be implemented as we journey towards uh, the vision of the president, Comrade Indian So there are a number of initiatives that girls can participate in. We now have the Zitco factory, where we are manufacturing, assembling various ICT products. We have just concluded the broadband plan, which will table in cabinet for discussion and approval. So all these sectors, we need to encourage you as girls to participate in this ICT sector, which is the future of this country. So, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, with these few remarks, uh, it is now my singular honor and privilege to declare the Girls in ICT Day officially launched. Yes, so give him another big round of applause. There are a lot of uh, things that he mentioned, which includes. Um, the Zitco factory, which is 
a fiction that is already there. Helping those to manufacture and assemble various ICT stuff that you would want to do, especially for girls who are taking and selling. But it's for everyone. Where is the scanner? So what that I'm getting is um, the minister would like to meet the girls before he leaves, which is why the keynote address was moved ahead. So DJ, if you can give us some music for the time being. It doesn't necessarily mean that the program is ended, it will come back. But before you leave, you'd like to make it so I don't want to ask. Saka, please give us some music as you move around. Thank you. Thank you.